Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about the Biore UV Barrier Me Mineral Gentle Milk SPF 50 PA++++ sunscreen technically physical sunscreen if you guys don't know and if you guys don't know what's the difference between a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen physical sunscreen the way it works is that it kind of layers on the surface of your skin and then that's how it kind of reflects the uh, uva uvb or the harmful rays from the sun but chemical sunscreen is where the way it reflects all the harmful rays is by absorbing it first and then after that reflecting it okay and the major difference between a physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen on how you feel on the skin is that definitely physical sunscreen you will feel like it kind of stays on the surface layer of the skin while chemical sunscreen it's definitely much more absorbable into the skin you will feel like it's very very lightweight it doesn't leave any sort of like stickiness layer on the surface of the skin that's just how the physical and the chemical sunscreen works okay just the way it works on its own I'm not gonna compare this to a chemical sunscreen because it doesn't make sense because they both do different things of course there is also uh, the saying that if you have very very sensitive skin it's better for you to use a physical sunscreen because it doesn't absorb into the skin so which means that it kind of it's a little bit gentler for your skin it's better for your skin but if you have no problem with chemical sunscreen then please use chemical sunscreen because it's just more convenient and it's just easier to use as an overall so that's why physical sunscreen of course there is a lot out there but as compared to chemical sunscreen that's not a lot out there okay physical sunscreen also has a demand for it because there are a lot of people out there with sensitive skin so that's why it's very important to find a good one as well I have not tried a lot I've only tried at this point including this one I have tried three physical sunscreens reason why I started with physical sunscreens is because I had eczema breakout and chemical sunscreen was really irritating my skin like even until now if I have eczema flare up I usually will go for one of my physical sunscreens here so the first one that I used was the Avino one this was the worst one that I've used it works I guess this is really really thick it's very very heavy on the face and it's very very hard to blend out most physical sunscreen is hard to blend out it's a it's a common fact but damn this is really hard to blend out as compared to a lot like, as compared to the other two that i've i've tried this is like the hardest to blend out and it leaves the thickest white cast ever then after that i've tried out the skin aqua sun play physical sunscreen for sensitive skin this one is also in a thicker cream kind of feel but it's definitely a lighter weight kind of a uh, cream as compared to the Avino one it still leaves a little bit of white cast but not as much as the Avino one and definitely a little bit more moisturizing also which is very very nice however they do have fragrance in here as well there's nothing wrong with fragrance it's just that I personally prefer if uh, skincare doesn't have fragrance in there but if it does and it doesn't irritate my skin that's fine for me I have no issues with it it's just that my problem is that if they irritate my skin then I personally wouldn't go for it I wish that this doesn't have fragrance in there but anyway it doesn't really matter it's still quite a nice physical sunscreen it takes a while to blend out but definitely you can still see that white car staying on the surface of your skin but overall i think this skin aqua one is actually quite a nice physical sunscreen that is until i found out the biore ue barrier me mineral gentle milk spf 50 pa plus plus Plus, this one, holy shit, like if I were to recommend you a physical sunscreen or a mineral sunscreen, you should totally go for this one. I mean, except that if you are sensitive towards fragrance because this has fragrance in here as well. But it almost smells like nothing. I wish they didn't add fragrance in here, but it's just how it is. It's a general mineral sunscreen coupled with strong protection against UV and pollutants. Made ideal for daily use for even the most delicate sensitive skin. Skin strengthening barrier with anti-pollution shield upon application it forms a smooth powerfully protective veil against environmental stressor on delicate skin such as dust pollen and pollutant impurities pm 2.5 this has no alcohol no parabens no colorant no oxybenzone it's non-sticky it's quick absorption it's non cardiogenic tested and allergy tested this has broad spectrum uv protection to effectively filters harmful uv rays to cushion bare skin durable formula with 
high resistance towards sweat and water. It has like moisturizing primer sort of uh, properties. It primes the skin prior makeup and smoothen uneven skin texture upon use. Used alone for effortlessly instant radiant look, it has added shea butter, Vaseline and BG which is like a moisturizing ingredient apparently. It has a mix of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as their main sunscreen or sun blockers ingredients. As a physical sunscreen, this is definitely so far one of the best physical sunscreen that I've tried. It's so so light but at the same time still kind of feels like it moisturizes the skin really really well. It gives you a nice glow as well once you apply it on. You will see a little bit of white cast but after a while you kind of leave it on. The white cast kind of feel like it kind of I don't know, it is kind of gone. Like the white cast is not too obvious. Like this one, as compared to the other two that I've tried, result in the least amount of white cast if you leave it for a while. You can use this for your face and body as well. There's no problem with that. But of course, at the end of the day, if you're using sunscreen, you definitely need to clean your face. If best, you can try to double cleanse your face, like a cream cleanser, oil cleanser, whatever cleanser, just double cleanse your face. I first tried out with my face having such a uh, really, really bad eczema breakup and it was in a healing process but even with that also it didn't sting my skin when I apply on my face it feels really really comfortable on my face it doesn't feel drying it took a while to massage it in for sure but the result of this is really pretty very very nice it gives a very very nice light glow to the skin it feels very very thoroughly moisturized on the surface of the skin and I am surprised that this has petrolatum in here which is Vaseline I don't know how they make it until so liquidy it kind of helps to finish this off the face it will help to make sure that it locks the hydration in the skin of course the shea butter and the petrolatum definitely do help a lot in uh, ensuring people with super dry skin type will feel super comfortable after using this if you have oily skin type this is not something for you at all but you have normal to super dry skin type and you're looking for a physical sunscreen and you have sensitive skin this is definitely one that you you should try out because it's amazing it's very very nice to use the scent is not very strong at all it has fragrance in here i don't know what fragrance they have in here but it's very very light it's not unpleasant kind of fragrance scent like it's not overpowering kind of fragrance scent the skin aqua one definitely has a heavier lavender scent it's more prominent the scent would i recommend this definitely if you have a normal to dry skin type and sensitive skin type and you're looking for a physical sunscreen to use this is definitely one you should use it's very very pretty it gives like the nicest look on earth minimal white cast like super minimal white cast it's just so nice to use it's it moisturizes the skin it has everything that i need like legit i i love this i will definitely buy this again it's not too expensive i think if you especially if you wait for watson's or guardian sale or the sale that any sales that they have okay you can get this at a pretty reasonable rate for a physical sunscreen it is generally a little bit more expensive as compared to chemical sunscreen because chemical sunscreen screen is that's ample of them like there's so many of them but physical sunscreen there's like not as many as them but definitely there is a uh, quite a high demand for physical sunscreen because there's just so many people out there with sensitive skin this is definitely worth it like uh, if you want a physical sunscreen if you're looking for a good one this is definitely one that you should go for i love this so so much so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy i'll see you guys in my next video bye don't forget to like and subscribe